What up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess, man. Welcome back to another Madden 16 video. Today we are uploading a 100k wager match. Now, this was before we got Wes Walker, but after Indomitian Sue. So, this was the very first game we went ahead and played uh, with Indomitian Sue. <clears throat> now, our opponent definitely has a really good team. As always, uh, I typically do my wagers on Saturdays. Um, I, I'm still less than like 15 wagers in on the year. I don't really wager that much. Um, but like I said, usually on Saturdays when I get a new player, people want to see gameplay of him. So Axe wants to run a wager. And um, he had 95 Neo, 94 Ellie Brown, and 94 Barber. And that Ellie Brown is so good. He is so damn good. Definitely a top five receiver of mine. Um, so... As uh, usual, you know, I don't know too much about my opponent. I don't know anything. I don't know their overall. I don't know their skill level. I don't know their, their plays. I don't know anything. I just asked who wants to run a wager. A bunch of people say what they want to play for. He said 100K. I'm like, let's get it in. Um, but they have the advantage on knowing what I like to run. You know, uh, like very first play, I come out a single back uh, ace. And he's already preparing for the toss because that's pretty much the only play I like to run out of single back ace. And he started moving his linebackers towards the outside, preparing for the toss play. And which is smart of him to go on ahead and, you know, make adjustments knowing what's coming. But, you know, like I said, uh, they know what it is I like to run and I don't know anything about them. Um, Walter Payton is so good in this game. A lot of people are asking about Eric Dickerson. When, I'm, when am I going to get him? Uh, there's four reasons that are preventing me from getting Eric Dickerson. Reason number one is the fact that, uh, what are the four reasons? Dang it. I had this before I started the video. Reason number one. Well, you know, what? uh, let me just not go in order. Okay. So, um, one of the four is that Walter Payton is really good. He's really, really good. <clears throat> he is a monster. He runs the ball extremely well. He's tough to take down. He's has a lot of strength, has a lot of speed, and uh, typically doesn't make me want to go on ahead and not and use somebody else uh, since he's so good. Um, two reason number two is that he's not a higher overall. So typically we don't need him. You know, I like to get you guys gameplay of. You know, this is actually the first year where if they were tied for the overall, I got them anyways to get you guys gameplay of them. Last year, all I did was highest overall. So if it was tied, um, I did not get them if I didn't see fit. Um, so, you know, he's not a higher overall uh, running back. He's the tied for 95. Uh, reason number three is he's expensive. He's still going for close to a million coins. Close to a million coins he's still going for. That is quite a bit. Like, that is a lot of coins that he's still <clears throat> uh, still going for 900K. Like, that is quite a bit. Um, and number four is that I heard word on the street is that um, Thanksgiving Barry Sanders may be coming out. You know, the last thing I want to do is spend a million coins on a player. And, you know, Barry Sanders comes out uh you know three days later that would suck you know for me to waste close to 900k and barry sanders comes out and that 900k could have went towards him and then that would mean that eric dickerson price would drop considerably so uh yeah definitely don't want to do that <laughs> also um well like last year 98 overall uh barry sanders came out for thanksgiving along with 96 uh terrell suggs and 95 uh troy aikman not really sure what they plan on bringing out this year due to the fact that um yeah i don't know what i was going with that yeah i just don't know what they're coming out this year now when you go to franchise mode and you go to uh the highest legacy um overall uh it shows you people that should be coming out at a later time like you see barry sanders name you see jerry rice and you see reggie white and you see a bunch of other folks so you would assume that they have the rights to put their name in the game and uh, so barry sanders should be coming out at some point um, also, this game was done before the patch, so uh, the blitzes that everybody was running, everything worked. You know, four three under B gap, uh, my quarter three man B gap, uh, four man B gap still worked. Now post patch, uh, I know four three under is pretty much dead. They uh, shut that down, um, and so did the quarter three man B gap. But I found how to do the B gap sending five. So I just need to make sure it's still consistent. If it is, then um, 
like I always say, I definitely do not mind sharing anything I ever find out with you guys. If I find it out on my own, I would never find something that T Raw showed me or told me or a blitz that somebody else uh, told me and, you know, let you guys know how to do it. But if I find out how to do it and I, you know, and I figure it out myself, then I don't mind sharing it with you guys. And I've always been that way. I just don't give out any defensive tips because I never find any. But um, if this five man B gap out of quarters is consistent, then I would definitely, um, definitely share with you guys. Now I won't post it on YouTube, but I will uh, let you guys know uh, how to do the setups on Twitch. Link is in the description. If you guys want to follow, you know, feel free to. Um, Fumble. Feel free to. Uh, that's my Tourette's just coming in out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, so feel free to. Um, and if it, like I said, if it's consistent and I figure it out and it's continuously coming in more often than not, then I don't mind sharing it with you guys. I heard some blitzes still work, like the Mike uh, Scrape 3 still comes in, and that is by far one of the most popular blitzes. I don't understand why that one got left in, but the 4 3 under got stopped. The Mike Scrape 3 is a very, very, very popular blitz that comes in screaming and uh, i was surprised well i heard i don't run any three four so it's not like i could try it myself i did try the four three under and that got stopped every time i tried it but uh the mic scrape three i'm surprised that they said that got left in uh considering that's definitely one of the more popular blitzes um that people run so uh but you know at, at least they did a, a good job of you know trying to smarten up the ai because a lot of people are like just you know these blitzes are gonna get patched <laughs> And I'm like, I don't mind. I would love that the only way you can get somebody free is if you send more than they're blocking. I don't mind that. I prefer that. You know, I want them to make a game where you can't send a B gap coming in out of nowhere. Like, because that means if I can't do it, that means I don't have to deal with it. And I'm an offensive player. Like, I don't mind sitting in, you know, uh, uh, base cover three and just waiting for you to make a mistake. That's how I've always won my games. Always. Since the beginning of time. I've always just called random ass goofy defenses and was just able to uh, force you to make just one mistake. And then my offense just, you know, uh, carries me to victory from you not being able to stop me. So I don't mind going back to that. <laughs> you know, like I don't mind relying on my offense to win games. I don't. Again, I hope all the blitzes are done. But that's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully you guys enjoy. It's your boy, Jess. We're going to go on ahead and be signing out. Peace.